just uh, it's just a gut wrenching feeling that you get. You know. Exactly one year ago tonight, Joplin, Missouri residents were recovering from the nation's deadliest tornado in six decades. The Lafayette man shares his experience of helping in the days after the disaster. Good evening and thanks for tuning in. I'm Dan Klein. Today marks the one year anniversary that Joplin, Missouri was nearly wiped off the map after an EF5 tornado ripped through town, killing more than 150 people. News Channel 18's Chris Henry reports a local EMT says it seems like it was just yesterday that he saw the devastation with his own eyes. Krista? Well, Dan, EMT Brian Pruitt and his work partner were transferring a patient from Lafayette to Oklahoma just two days after the tornado struck Joplin. On their route back to Indiana, they stopped in Joplin and brought supplies and lent a helping hand to those in need. You see broken water lines, water shooting up out of the ground, um, houses torn off the foundation. Uh, the, just the odor was like raw sewage. You could almost smell death in the air. That's what Brian Pruitt of Lafayette says he remembers seeing a year ago after an EF5 tornado changed Joplin, Missouri forever. Debris everywhere, power lines were down. You didn't know if the power lines were even live or not, so of course we were watching that. Pruitt, who is a Lafayette based EMT, stopped in Joplin to bring supplies to those in need after he and a fellow paramedic transported a patient from Lafayette to Oklahoma. He says although he only stayed a few hours, he says it felt like they were there for days. There's a certain emotional thing where you had to set you know, from patients to, you know, a personal life, and that one hit both. But while Pruitt says he can mostly remember the scene looking as if a bomb went off, there's one striking image he says that still comes to mind when he thinks about his experience. There was a cross uh, next to the nursing home. The cross uh, stayed standing through the storm. Pruitt says after seeing the devastation in Joplin firsthand, he now pays closer attention to when severe weather strikes in Lafayette. Brian Pruitt says being an EMT, he sees a lot of devastation on a day-to-day -day basis, but he describes his experience in Joplin as one of the worst. Krista Henry, News Channel 18.